They die in numbers and slices of quince, which they ate with a runcible spoon. Hello there. That was an excerpt from The Owl and the Pussycat from Edward Lear. So it's quince harvesting time. Well, if the owl and the pussycat dined on mints and slices of quince, they would not be these that we have here. They must be the South European, Southern European version. We have here, we have to have the North European version because the South European version, they don't stand the frost and it can get down to minus 18 degrees here in winter. So we'll have a quick look at the results for this year and, uh, and then it goes on further. <coughs> so here we are. There's some beautiful examples here. Look here, look at this. In fact, so, some of them are so large they don't even fit, fit into the, the harvesting uh, thing there that we've got. Now, what's going to happen is we save some for making uh, a, a, like a marmalade, a, a mousse type thing, yeah, which is very nice. It goes very well with camembert cheese, for example. But 90% of these, they're going to go for pressing with apples. And I can assure you that apple juice and quitten, apple and quitten, when they're pressed in the juice, it's, it's a wonderful juice. It really is. So there we are. That's the results for this year. Not bad considering. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this short video and see you all again soon.